Uh, we had just been transferred from our station, which was Pendleton, Oregon, to Columbia, South Carolina. Uh, and uh, we were there maybe a week or two when the, they asked for volunteers. And all of you, your hands shot up? Apparently, yes. <laughs> now, at that time, you did not know what the mission was? No. Or who it was with? No. What were, what were your feelings when you found out who was leading your mission? Well, uh, I was born and raised here in Dayton. And uh, as a child, I w was interested in aviation. I had a scrapbook, and uh, I was a member of the Airplane Model League of America, and uh, I knew all about Jimmy Doolittle. <laughs> and uh, he was one of my inspirations, and uh, I was a very lucky guy to be able to fly with him. When you, you knew that you were volunteering for a dangerous mission, <laughs> probably. You knew it was going to be a dangerous mission. Yeah. When you found out Jimmy Doolittle was leading the mission, did it, did it, did, did that make the mission seem like, wow, this must be a big deal? Well, I guess after we volunteered, uh, we had ideas about uh, wondering what was going to happen and so forth. That uh, when we found out that uh, he was going to be our leader, it was a, it had a comforting effect. When you were in, you were his co-pilot. Yes. What ship on the Hornet were you in? <laughs> what what B twenty five? What number B twenty five were you in on the Hornet? We were number one. And you were his co-pilot. Yes. You had to launch early because yes. of the radio transmission of the Japanese. Yes. Yeah. When you when you and Colonel Doolittle. We're revving the engines up. What were your thoughts at that point? Well, uh, when they announced for us that it was a time to launch, uh, the name of the game was to get to the airplane before Colonel Doolittle, because uh, crew, with the crew talk, uh, we knew that he was under a lot of pressure. and. Uh, we decided that we would try to get to the airplane before him and go through the, you know, the checklist and do what we, we could do that he wouldn't have to do. Uh, and uh, apparently we were successful because uh, uh, there wasn't any difficulty afterwards.